uh, we do have a couple of special presentations for Andy Kenny. So as would be might be customary for a dignitary coming to Cleveland, we must give them some recognition and memory of our city. Perhaps the two most important parts that people from outside of the United States recognize is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the Cleveland Orchestra. Now, we have with us this evening for that purpose, uh, Jared Cheney, who's a member of the Rock and Roll Hall Board of Fame, and we spent the last month determining who would be the most person with the greatest level of culture to give the Cleveland Orchestra. After many months, there was only one person we were able to decide, Martin Sweeney. <laughs> well, thank you. Okay. Uh, be before I represent the Rock Hall, I just want to say to Jim Bowl, I want to add my congratulations. Uh, soon after my family and I moved here from San Francisco, I met you, and I thought then you were one of the good guys. And 15 years later, I'm pretty damn sure that you are the best guy. <laughs> trip to Ireland uh, recently, and uh, and I thought at, at, at Mount Falcon when I met the Taoiseach the first time, it wouldn't be great to give him a Rock Hall jacket. Little did I know that in one of Marty Sweeney's lucid, lucid moments, I mean, uh, brilliant moments, he had already given him one. So, we have another jacket here tonight, and uh, if one's good, two's better. So, on behalf of the, uh, the board of directors of the Rock Hall, and I've, I, I'm sorry if I missed somebody, but I did see Ralph Delorada, uh, Dan Walsh, a former chairman, Bill Summers in the back. Uh, any other directors here I missed? I'm really sorry. Tom um, Graham, I'm sorry. Anybody else? But uh, So, uh, on, on behalf of all of us, to the T-Shock on those chilly nights in Mayo, Long live rock. Cleveland rocks. I am officially the last speaker. Mr. Bowling, congratulations. Everyone around the world comes to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But our Cleveland Orchestra goes around the world. And they've had the privilege of hanging out in Dublin. When Mr. Hansen found out that I gave him a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame jacket, he was more than happy to say I would like give the T-Shot a gift from the Cleveland Orchestra. It came, a gentleman from City Hall picked it up, gave it to Mr. Scanlon, and it's here tonight. I have absolutely no idea what's in it, but I know it's something extraordinary. So, Mr. T-Shot, Mr. Edna Kenny, congratulations. On behalf of the Cleveland Orchestra, here's a gift.